we like celebrating some of the milestones that are achieved with various organizations in town. Jackie, boy, do we have one. How about the 40th birthday bash of Iowa CCI? All right, so let's find out exactly what does ICCI mean? And we have a couple ladies here to tell us what it's all about. No question about it. We do have a Sharon Zanders Akis here. She uh, in charge of donor relations over at the organization. And Cherie Mortis is here. And we have a lot of things going on. And I cannot believe you guys have been around for 40 years. Yeah, you know, you can't say that about a lot of grassroots no, organizations. They, they can come and go, but we've been around and, and we're, a, we're a real known commodity, not just in the state of Iowa, but across the country, because we also partner with the National People's Action. So we're out and about every everywhere, and, and we, talk, we tackle a lot of tough issues. Now, so, yeah, let's break it down. What exactly is the organization? Yes, you're okay. a known commodity amongst the groups that follow right. that, but maybe there's some people out there who, who don't know about your organization. Okay. Um, Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement is a grassroots organization, and really, we believe that the best thing to do is to engage people who are directly impacted by tough situations or tough issues in our state. So our membership represents people in uh, rural Iowa, people from the city. We're a very diverse group. Um, and like I said, you know, we're not afraid to tackle the really tough issues. Now you're talking about tough issues or situations, for example. For example, uh, we've been on the, the front line of the fight for clean water. And we have probably been the only organization in the state of Iowa that has taken on big ag and in particular factory farms and their impacts on our environment and specifically our water quality. So we're talking major issues. We're talking here in major our state. issues. Okay, is it, do you, is it one of those things you meet on a monthly basis, or how do you uh, form a group to handle situations like this? Um, you know, our our membership we're about three thousand strong, so wow. we are we are literally just here in Iowa, just here in Iowa, and we are represented in every single county. So you know, we take on issues that, that impact people kind of where they are. Okay. Right now, the rural our rural membership and our city membership is united over this issue of uh, our dirty waterways. I mean, we're we're in a, involved in a race to the bottom right now. Mm -hmm. We had 630 polluted water bodies two years ago. We're up to 725. So our membership is very united around that issue. We're also uh, leaders in the whole Bakken resistance movement here in the state of Iowa. Mm -hmm. We launched that and we're leading that. Mm -hmm. Right now, our membership has been active and we've collaborated with people throughout the state, landowners. And right now, the number of objections to that pipeline outnumber the people that support it by three to one. So you can tell this group, very passionate people. Very passionate. <laughs> you can tell already this yeah. morning. But besides being passionate about issues, we also have to celebrate the fact that you've been around 40 years. Absolutely. Uh, the organization started uh, 40 years ago in Waterloo with four priests. And again, uh, the basis of it was to allow people, everyday people, to have a voice and be a change. And so to be able to be around 40 years and celebrate the wins over 40 years is pretty awesome. And we didn't, we couldn't think of a better way than to uh, celebrate our 40th with some pretty dynamic speakers coming in. Some big names coming yes. in. Watch everybody who's going to be here. Well, we have uh, Reverend Dr. William Barber. Uh, he has been, he's the co-founder of uh, Moral Mondays, uh, where he has mobilized thousands of people around the issue of voter suppression in the South. We also have uh, Jim Hightower, number one populist, Sally Cohn, political pundit. Uh, we have Ken Zinn uh, the, over the unions, nurses unions. So the list goes on and on. Bree Carlson, uh, we'll be talking about structural racism, a lot going on over the weekend. So it sounds like you're celebrating 40 years, but also continuing the passion of what we need to do into the future. Absolutely, well. absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So how do people partake if they're interested in checking this event out? I know it's just right around the corner. Right. Uh, can they still be a part of it? Absolutely, Friday night, uh, They can. we're gonna start. I mean, they can come and register right there or they can still register through our website. Um, uh, iowacci.org. Okay. So registration is Friday night. Registration can begin around 5:30. We'll actually start the program probably right around 6:30 Saturday morning. Again, registration is available starting at 8. We'll probably kick off the program right around 8:45. So there's still plenty of opportunity and ability. You know, if, uh, we can accommodate sort of last-minute you know decisions to do that. Mm -hmm. So you know they can register the day of Friday night or Saturday morning. Do you have to be a member, or if you're just wanting to hear these amazing speakers and see what you guys are all about? It they can just come. Public. It is completely open mm -hmm. to the public. And it's over by the airport, right? Right. Yes. The Holiday Inn right across the street from the airport okay. on Fleur Drive. Okay. Yeah. So what are you guys looking mo most forward to? Um, I think what I'm looking most forward to is to hear both uh, Jim Hightower and Dr. Uh, Barber. Uh, I think they, they're both <laughs> dynamic and amazing speakers. And uh, actually all the, the people that we have lined up for the event. 
uh, I hope people can walk away knowing that you can be a voice for change. And, but to hear what's being done on the national stage as well as what we can continue doing on the local stage. And Hightower, we've talked during the break, has been here before. He's part of the 30th anniversary. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a very well known. Nice, talk about a big commodity yeah. radio wise. He is one of the biggest. Yes. So yeah. great catch on your part. Yeah. Thank well you. done. Yeah. I, I love your slogans too people before politics, people before profits, people before polluters. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. There you go. Well, thank you, ladies, very thank much. You, if thank people you much. give us the information one more time in case people are interested. We will we'll kick off Friday night at the Holiday Inn right across the street from the airport. Mm -hmm. People can register that night starting at about 530 and then we'll start at 6 Saturday morning. Again, they can come and register um, in the morning. Registration can start about 8 o'clock mm -hmm. and then we'll kick that program off at 845. And iowaccci.org is the place to follow the details. They can also register on the website. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yep. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You.